Hey boys, what's going on? We're back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. Today we're going to be rolling the 80 plus overall Harvest Player pack. See if we can get lucky, get some good pulls. We do have two LTDs that are pullable out of this pack. We have Cam Jordan and Nick Chubb. So, uh, let's get into it. Before we get started though, boys, if you guys are new to the channel, please do consider hitting that sub button. Uh, over 75% of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel. When we do hit 3K, we'll be doing a giveaway. So hit that sub button. If you're new or if you've been around but you haven't decided to do it, it would mean the world to me. Also, like, comment, all that stuff helps out. And we're going to get right into it. I've been, uh, I've ripped these a good bit, just like testing them out um, throughout the course of like the day or so. I have not had the greatest luck, but I'm hoping that maybe once, once we start recording, maybe we get some. YouTuber luck or streamer luck, whatever you guys want to call it. I don't really stream, but um, get some of that luck. Um, if not, then uh, we're just going to take a massive L, which is going to happen too. But I want to see if this is the best route for trying to pull these LTDs, or maybe we should be sticking to variety packs or whatnot. But we get to open up something different. It's, uh, it's a little more fun. Maybe we pull a champion. That'd be cool. Um, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I opened up all like the special offers for Harvest um, that we got with the second release. And I did get champion Aaron Rodgers, which is awesome. I was super pumped. Um, he's currently QB1 on the roster. Could have sold him for an easy 800k, but ugh, just wanted to use him. So... First time I haven't had like a super mobile quarterback this year. Um, uh, I rocked Joe Burrow for a while. He's not really mobile, but then I was on Lamar for a long time. Had a quick stint with RG3. Uh, I might go back to RG3 because like the passing stats are pretty similar, but the, the abilities on Rodgers is what oh, he gets that set beat lead in. He gets Hot Route Master. Hot Route Master is huge. Saves you AP on your receivers, so... Like, I love having Hot Route Master. We get an 84. Finally get a card that's a positive training. Um, haven't haven't been super hot on these yet. But we got we got plenty of time to go. And I'm just quick selling them. I It's probably not the smartest route. Um, there's probably like some that are worth quick selling for, for how much you spent. Some, some of them are probably better to just sell or throw into sets. I'm just... A lot of the rents are Pete and getting as many rolls as possible right now. Um, I'm not saying this is what you should be doing. It's probably not a prof the most profitable way. Probably not profitable at all. Um, but it's probably not like the the most financially savvy thing to do. I'm not saying that, that this is. I'm just saying we're just doing a bunch to rip for something good. Hopefully. I don't even I mean Nick Chubb and Kim Jordan aren't necessarily like good or great. I mean, they're, they're going to be some of the best players at their positions, but they're not exactly like I need to rip 300 bundles to get this card or anything like that. <laughs> um, they're just doing it because they're LTDs and maybe we get one and get lucky. Um, and if not, it is what it is. We're not going to we're not going to lose any sleep over not pulling one of these guys either. Now, if this was like some Raven LTD or someone that just fit on the Raven Steam teams, I'd be like, we need this. We're going to rip and rip and rip. That's when I would probably move over to variety packs because these just don't seem super hot. You're just, nah, it is what it is. Not Like I said, we're not losing sleep over it. And I mean, like we've been ripping for like at this point, almost four straight minutes and we haven't lost much training. Um, I mean, we've lost some, obviously. But there's some, some of these roles where, it's like, if I only had to start with 20k, like, I would be down to, like, zero at this point. So, for not being super expensive. Like, you're losing 475 training on each 80 you pull. But then 84s and above, you're going to profit. So... There just hasn't been a lot of those, which is just frustrating. But it is what it is. We're not gonna we're not gonna be upset about it. 
We got another 84 there. Boom. So we just me back 300 or 295 training or something like that. And a little bit back. Which is fine. It's all fine. But can we get one big one EA? I haven't gotten a single... The biggest pull I've gotten out of one of these packs ever out of the Harvest Player was an 88. So if we could surpass that in the next couple of minutes, that would be pretty cool. If not, it is what it is. Like, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm super pumped that we got really good cards. Like Harvest Promo 2 or Harvest Part 2, whatever you want to call it. That was a really nice content drop with some really good cards. I mean, that Randy Moss is super nice. Um, I haven't really looked too much into Lawrence Taylor. I mean, we got Jeremy Chin is going to be like a tier one user. Um, there's, there's, there's quite a few really good cards. I don't think I got anybody that actually fit onto my theme team today. Seems like the Ravens get a theme team player on every drop. But I don't think we got one this time. Which is fine. We've been... Oh, I lied. 93 overall Darren Waller fits on the Ravens theme team. So, there's that. So, literally, it's been like every drop for... I swear it's been weeks. At least every like major drop. We're getting someone that fits onto the Ravens. Which I appreciate. <laughs> But I know at some point then it's gonna be like as soon as like the overall goes up, they're gonna it's just gonna stop and then the team will just be stagnant. And I'll just be like, come on, EA, give us more. So I'm happy with where where it's been so far for me personally. And yeah. But I'm not happy with how these drops are going or these rolls are going. They have been pretty rough. So we're just going to do a few more, maybe three or four more, because these, I'm not, I'm not coming out of this feeling great. I'm not like, yes, we did, we did fairly decent or we did great. Like, you know, this is pretty bad. So maybe this pack is not the move. It just blows my mind because of how cheap these LCDs are. Like they're both under 400 K according to mud.gg as of right now. So I, you know, expected them to be a little more pullable. But no use crying over spilled milk. It is going to be all right. All right. We're going to do two more rolls. Two more rolls and we're done. No matter what we get, we're going to wrap it up here. So roll number one, 80. Called it. Man, I'm good. And final roll. Can we get something good? EA, please. Throw us LT in the last the last roll. Nope. All right, boys. Well, that's all I got for right now. Thank you for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Appreciate all of y'all. I love you guys. Stay safe. And I will see you real soon.